Aviridos. Aviridos. Amen. Amen. We are grateful to God this afternoon. For this great thing that he has done for us. This afternoon, I'm very excited. And when you were dancing, I remembered when I was young like you. So it is very good that when you are young, you dance to the glory of the Lord. Amen. It is at this time of your life that anything that you can do to glorify the Lord, you do it. The reason why I'm saying this is that a time is coming that you will not be able to do it. So this is the time you have to read your Bible. This is the time you have to fast. If you cannot fast at this time, then I'm afraid for you in the future. When the church is fasting, you do not join. And you cannot fast on your own. The Bible says that remember your God in the day of your youth. Before the bad times come. Just give yourself only 15 years. You will realize that it will even become difficult to lift your leg. Those of you who are very young, you have your children, you'll be carrying your children at your back. All the kind of dresses that you're wearing now, you'll not be able to wear them again. Now you'll be looking for uh, things to raise your, your chest. No. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> You realize that after giving birth to one or two, you realize that there will be changes in your body. Your hip will be coming down, your waist will be coming some way. Things will change. I'm telling you that your beauty will even change. Your waist will change. It will become big. Yeah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And this afternoon, I want to encourage you just like our mother Deborah encouraged us this morning. Look at the way our uh, daughters were dancing. It means you are energetic. You have strength. When it comes to activity, you are active. Say a bad juma yemua uh active in working. Active in learning. And now you have time. You have time to study. You have time to do everything. You have time to do everything. That is why we are teaching you to have a skill this morning. And then we are also uh, entrusting into you the word of God opportunity to do everything you like, you want. Sabre, who are queen yourself, who be a bibi bia when it's you. And I dear, I have a young man, you can cry, say, oh, be a young, I was all who are not stressing any other bibi. And what is so interesting about the youth is that 
you you just see them always happy, always laughing. Exciting in spirit. Yes. They are always excited. They are always excited in so their spirit. So it's good to be to be young. I don't say yes, sir. We are obebunu. So you have to enjoy your your time, you. Ma weninge. So you have to enjoy your youth to the fullest. Time, you. We will tell you for your enjoy because I beg a cry. We will be full more. If you are someone who is fond of always getting angry, you need to stop it because a time is coming that it will be a normal thing in your life. After preparing your soup, delicious soup, and your husband will tell you that it is not delicious, you will be very angry. This is the time to smile, laugh. This is a time to be creative. And he said, Papa, never say But this is you cry and, and, and you're doing because mathematics will praise God. Hallelujah. So when um, our instructor was teaching us about the soap and there were calculations and people were confused, I was surprised because at this stage, you have that mind, you have the ability to absorb everything. So, yeah, empowerment, when we talk about empowerment, Proverbs 31, 13, Ajuni Kuntuni Asawa hu na ordinance ojuni kuntu ni asawa hu na ordinance ye ejuma feso amen ojuni kuntu ni asawa hu na ordinance ye ejuma ni feso na papa na mami na na ya papa ka na semuno wa mo ni din but who say no or your creative or born ho so um wa empower ne ho was shining who there were certain things if you want to walk Proverbs 31 Hona and your man and no mamma, and yes, and yes, and me relax you, but what born I dream for, and I'm not paying, but what dream for not showing one day. Hallelujah! So, the Proverbs 31 woman that uh, our father was talking about this is a woman who empowered herself, she was creative. And she was determined in his mind that he she would do something for her life. So this afternoon, I want to encourage you that you will be like this woman. 31, 31, 25. I'll say she is she clothed in strength. And to whom say, Nibi be a oye biano, was she a Amen. 31, 25. I'll say, I'm a whore fed in a drag year. Now, on Sre. Osro da a ebeba. Amen. Osro. Osro. I don't know how can Osro. Why is he saying that this woman is always excited? And you man are all yeni na no. A man eni mu e muna. Because of the things that she's involved in, it does not permit her to be moody. As I say, I don't say a juma. Because she works with her hand. Ne say no ya juma ne ti no. She is satisfied because she works with the hand. She's always satisfied. Debi anana kuma atoni yem. Eti debi a osre. So she's always excited. Me bon pa yesa uba sre debi a. I pray for you that you always be excited. Not debi a wode won sabe ye bibi. And you work always with your hands. I say, if somebody is empowered, if a woman is empowered, that he has right. That is power. To control his own life. Amen. Say, "Eka se ubiya sheno hundi, ana ya show bidia." Na sa ni pa we onwa won akwenya wano huse otshe na braboso. Right and to determine choices. Na enyema ono pe se oye no owo asu to me ni ope se oye no asu to me na oye nso. Sometimes ubon se ya wumu di a wonya onho. Wumu di a wonya onho. I can woo who dear one yaw hono. Who bomb pie and a watch train, what's train your mehom conquer and say, Oh, mawa country. Sometimes you are confused, you don't know what to do. But in that state, you need to pray to God that God will direct you. But I dear a high crystal for you choices and decisions. But one thing that worries Christian most is 
our choices and our decisions. This is choice. Just say, oh, to marry, you will see that if the person is in a state of confusion, maybe the mother or friends or brothers can tell her to go and take this man or that. But if you are somebody who has control over your choices and decisions, you will go to God and the Lord will direct you. Right to have access to opportunities and resources. Amen. So if you are someone who is always directed by the Lord, when opportunity comes, you are able to face it and meet it. Ability to influence the direction and social change. Nasani pa wen so o wasa a wadia o to me di a weasimwin such rayaso any a debi a air cost of a fro. Sa bani sa ubon sa wabra boba ye kama 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 suku na sasa u kwa umse sku yi me me um directed by the 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 my inner man. That is the Holy Spirit. And see a mo kwan sa Wait, decision I'm take it, take it. May you call? Not just any amina. Oh, do any? Amen. If someone is like that, anything that the person does, she has control over it, or he has control over it. And then when it even comes to your 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 choice of education or study, you control it, and you're able to do it because the Lord is directing you. I see. I I I drew maybe a. Yeah, now your name say. Study. You tell me what what she can say. Me, me, Bob, was the kind I'm investing for the future. No, yeah, no, you rev. said we have to invest for ourselves. So sometimes we even we are even forgetful of ourselves that we can invest into the future. And I said, if I can say, oh, boy, what? None you rev. No, who cry? Say, on one day, that's it. Done any no. Oh, but me, I am she say be. I dey at one man. I dey at. And she say, oh, what? I say. I feel way, me person is not seem stressing. I'm a doctor, I'm a nurse, but I want to add more to it. So this person could be in one profession, but this person will sit down and, and, and determine that I want to add up. I want to add value to myself. So although even I'm a doctor, I still want to learn something about fashion. No ma ko lai bi o ba be ware. E na me ko fa aketesi bi se, o me ya decoration mami. Uh, one of my children were getting married and then was getting married and I, I brought someone in to come and do the decoration for me. So I open the decorator So when the decorator came, you could see that she was in a hurry. So I was worried. I said, why? You have to take your time. And I said, Ma, uh, these are all your things. And I said, yes. And she, oh, I said, Ma, I don't know what you Okay, you know, or shall I say, and I'm saying, who are you? Then she started and I asked that, who are you? I said, I'm a lawyer. And she said, I'm a lawyer. A mother. I'm a mother. And uh, a wife. Or say, or you're a lawyer. Or say, mommy. And she made quite a practice. And she said, I'm really sorry, I'm a pen terminal. So the, the, because she's a lawyer, she was going to the court. That's why she was in a hurry. And she me I said, I'm a charming woman. I said, I'm a mommy. I ran away. Mr. And wow. suddenly I turned to go and do something. When I came, this woman had finished everything. He has a purpose. Now what? And the purpose this woman had was she does not joke with her time. If you don't take her from morning till evening, we shall 24 hours now. Because we could tell phone, paper, paper, where is it from? Where is it say? Me call Facebook, me call TikTok, me call one wine, said the moon, you know. And see, sometimes if you are not intentional, you realize that 
you will spend all the time doing unnecessary things. Facebooking, TikToking, and all the rest. This is the time. This is your time. Sabre and it will break. There is no time again for you. But you can't go back. class one angel. Sometimes when you look back, you realize that there are some unfinished business since that you could not finish. And but you cannot turn back the hand of the clock. Because when you go back to class one, nobody will take you. So you have to be diligent. And so we ain't see Now we need daho. And be vigilant. Now we hear what you say, brother, and neighbor. And determine that you are facing life. It's a bedroom, baby. You know what? Take it level. So it will get to a time that you 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 stabilize yourself. And so say we better now we offer. We pay your school fees. Now what's on for? Hey, of a year no, say school fees in my head there. Of a year no, of a year only mushi. So sometimes you will just be idle and you'll be calling your uncle my school fees. And if the school fees is not forthcoming, then you'll be blaming your, your uncle's wife. But no the fe, wife had not done anything. Oh, frau, brother, be a, or what brochure, or be frame me. And to be pesa, or catch me, brother, I'm saying, Martina Crony Suda. Sister, or sign your software can home. And sometimes you resort to maybe going to your relatives who are abroad, but I know the situation there. Someone contacted me that I should talk to the son. And I told the person that I know situa the situation there. So anything that they bring to you, use it to work. Put it to work. Uh, have big dreams. Ment na hosa and ya Uma no mo aboka no mo de mo abba samu be ya be bom pa ye na fi ye suan bibi for ye da chi titare ho ma wani mere na suan bibi e tu be fi ha be kwa no un kita bibi ya na kita de ba ko hallelujah as our our parents have spent on us and we have come here to learn something and take it back home let us be di diligent and learn and learn it well. By the time you live here, you will live here as somebody who is skillful, ready to put to good use. Amen. As soon as you were born into this world, know that God has fashioned your life and has planted in you talent and these talents are the talents you're going to put to use and you are going to benefit from it in your life. And see, and now we say And And once God has endowed you with all these talents, it is your responsibility to put it to good use. 1 Timothy 4, 12, 16. 1 Timothy 4, 12, 16. In my opinion, I will be able to bring you to the end of the day. I will be able to bring you to the end of the day. I will be able to bring you to the end of the day. I will be able to bring you to the end of the day. I will be able to bring you to the end of the day. Amen. Amen. And San Catas Nibium. First Timothy, Timothy Muma Edikai, eighteen nine, in Yumudumienu Cosiduncia. First Timothy four, twelve to sixteen. A higher Paula, on Neba Timothy Ekasa. This is Paul who was speaking to his son Timothy. Na. Uh, Paul, eh, who be be Timothy? And Paul saw something in Timothy. And he, oh, yeah, now you say, oh, but then that Timothy can crack a crack. And so he decided to train and nurture him. And we are who near my woman, who is in a demo bahano. This afternoon, we have seen what is in you. That's why we have brought you here. And he, Paul said, let no man despise you. And he, Paul said, mama, oh, be a embu abonfia. What, 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 what
you, in, in your your lady. You can't say what can in I your lady. Uh, your lady, uh, Yes, as a lady, eh? As a lady, don't let anybody look down on you. I buy a then obia look down on you. How can someone look down on you? I am near my be a obey. It's not Paul and Pesce. That situation, a beba cra, and now, oh yeah, now just a brand here, no, on any beka sa. So Paul never wanted that situation to happen where somebody would look down upon Timothy. That's why Paul decided to talk to him. And here, and now we remember, Obi Emu. As a Christian, so this afternoon, don't let anyone despise you as a lady. Stand firm as a good Christian. Be an example. Be an example in every area you are. Be an example in every In your education. At your workplace, I sorry you. In the church, because I sorry you, I say I didn't want to dance you. Because in the church, people must speak good, uh, well of you. Sorry. Now, me baba, me biwa ho, me pesa me dene mawa. If I have a son that I want my son to marry you, na me kubu sa wo local leader. And if I find out from your local leader, what's it? Hey, mama. And the local leader says, hey. <laughs> Be careful, Mama. Now, say you are not an example. When it, when it happens like that, it means you are not a, an example for, for others. Your speech, your character, and your behavior in general, where you are at your local, they, they don't see you as I see you. Devote yourself to God. Do not neglect your gifts. If you stop praying, the gifts that God has planted in you will not show forth. So remember that you are also here that one day or in the future you also become a leader in the church. So you have to work on the gift that you have. And this gift comes from above. Some prophesy. Some are also generous. Some can clean. Some can also descend from God. So many, so many gifts. When it comes to physical so giftings, and talents. Say and Paul Timothy said, be diligent. Paul told uh, Timothy once again that he should be diligent. And Tinacha said, I did be a woe, yeah. Barbara Bonum, so we are Christian, I did be a woe, yeah, no. In Penny Four, I was sorry, no, so So you should note that everything that you are doing in the church as a Christian lady, remember that people are watching you. And to train in here, yeah, 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 so this training that you are going through it is a vision from the Lord that our mothers are implementing it. So do your best that everything that is coming in the word of God you will take it so that it will nourish your spirit. And for this two days that or three days that we're going to spend here, you will, you will catch everything with faith. So we are repositioning ourselves so that our impact will be maximum. If we do not have maximum impact, the world will not see. 
The world will not be able to see how we are so that they will also give their lives to Christ. But wherever you are, no, Sometimes we only think that we have to go out and evangelize, as in evangelism. But note that people can even watch your life and give their lives to Christ. Say, yeah, share your bra, boom, or your person be be a quote ye. Uber quite, you my ain't you ready. I did be a wee be a bear pepper pa, a year near market and kitty. Integrity. If you want to be successful in life, at your workplace, wherever you are, there are things that you need to, to watch, watch it. And one is integrity. If you are who are a German, baby, I want to assess toss and I anything. We found some way to teach a nurse. Yeah, the first and all square, the chalk, and then my name, my back. For example, if you are a teacher, you are a teacher, maybe you can be given um, chalk or resources for teaching. If you are a woman of integrity, you are not supposed to take some home to go and teach. prison officer. Yeah, 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 Or for instance, you are a prison officer and the things for the prisoners, things that you are supposed to use to take care of the prisoners, you pack them and take them home. If you do that, we cannot speak of you as somebody with integrity. You should be an honest person so that God will bless you. Account it. Account it. Everything that you are you are supposed to give an account, make sure that you are able to do it and do it well. Your integrity must work. And I will understand. So I'll be able to say, hey, we didn't cry. We will be able to get out. Your integrity must be apt, and then you also have to be honest that everybody will know that this is an honest person. And our brabo will be heavier. It should be good. You should also have a good behavior. Respect for everyone I will be meeting. Oh, boy, I'm going to be a good person. I'm going to be a good person. I'm going to be a good person. Sometimes you meet someone and everybody will testify that this person is disrespectful. So sometimes when I meet such a person, what comes to mind is that this person has not allowed or availed him or herself for God to come and dwell in the heart. So if you are someone who manifests some bad character traits, you have to watch out because all these things will not bring the glory of the Lord. One thing that it's so important to me that I want to talk about is our appearance. It must be good. Yeah, appearance, you know. Who can can't see more than one? Or can say as I say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Share see the yeah see bad about it, yeah. And when you read Timothy, um, where we read, it says that our appearance we must be good. Our appearance must be good. Pastor, how many acres are there? And say say. You should not be you should not be you should not be someone that people identify you as two or three person. For instance, when you are at the workplace, you dress in a certain manner. Someone cannot even recognize that it is you. Even someone who really knows you will even ask that, is that not this person or that person? Or 
and sometimes to when you are traveling you have your own way of dressing when you are traveling and then when you are coming to church too you are a different person when it comes to dressing why now dress your children who, who, who is your target for your dressing? My pa na wode mano. Who is your target? Me pesa me kasa chere me ma e waha se se who pesa obi waru ni sa ni amani amani adi e wo e wo wa juni mo e nya dressing. I want to advise all my children here that if you want somebody to marry you today, note that it is not about dressing. This man. They will meet somebody. He will play about the person, but when it comes to wife, ah, or sha, or your papa, or inner beauty and outside beauty. Sometimes the men can even appreciate you the way you are dressing, but when they are looking for a wife, they know who is a wife. Somebody with good character, good appearance. Into my daughters. Into my ma. Dress very well. Mama yense se yahu ye. Dress decent. When it, when, it, when it comes to our body or, or our physique, God has given it to us. So from your head to your toe, you are responsible for taking care of it. follow <laughs> When it comes to the scalper, time pepe not the piano, one man, a bedroom rebino, with three in a beco, a cheese, a becucu. As a youth, you are fond of following trends, fashion, a new style, and even our hair, putting so much pressure on it. But know that there is time for everything. God even has time for this, your hair. So if you put so much stress on it, a time is coming that you realize that. You have disturbed your body for nothing. No, no, no. <laughs> I feel when it comes to their body now, Obi e koko me me kala me ti me fa koko to mama me ma me vero di me ma me filo di e ho Obi a ni si de nyami a boni beautiful. Eti Obi ni tun tu ma nyami a bono all weather very nice and only problem o ho no o no di e o person ni kala no. And then when it comes to our complexion, we are different. I am black. I cannot compare myself to Mama Philo. Or I cannot say that I want to become like her. If you put that so much stress on yourself, it is for nothing. And the body, no. We have first layer, second layer, third layer, fourth layer, and last layer, how? And so, you should also know that this body, the Lord, God has arranged this body in layers. So, if you take it off, take it off, take it off, and it gets to the last one, it's a problem for you. So, my sisters in the Lord, it is good that we are here. And our, it's our mothers who can tell us the truth. Now what shall we body ni here? So that you take good care of your body. Obi wa wa no pa no no so onya re no adware ba akope. Some people too don't like taking their bath. So in the day they can just do it once. Obi try e fi an opa no.
Holiness unto the Lord. So what can kind of Bible pa? If you read the Bible very well. Old Testament when you go to the when you go to the Old Testament, God hates God hates filth. I can see that you are very interested, so I want to add more. So God does not like filth. So even in the Old Testament, when he's appearing to the people, he will announce that I'm coming. So they should clean, they should be clean, clean their environment and everything. All that I want you to know is that. God does not like filth. Keep your body neat. Bath morning and evening. Enti jare. Jare. Anapa enye nyumre. Don't pile your things. And pile your money. 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 Don't pile your things. Till the end of the month. And then you'll be priding yourself in the fact that I wash my things at the end of the month. I'm busy, I'm busy. Me prepare, I'm preparing my me me work it be. Or china me wa no me wa me wa uh find a sign. Lessons, lectures, and it's an yamane mana ya ye no. Sisters, we have to keep ourselves neat. Sometimes we want to come out with a lot of excuses that we are busy. I have lectures, I have this, I have that. But please take good care of your body. Another thing I want to stress on it is yes, yes, if you are here and you don't know and or you don't have anybody to teach you how to cook and cook well. Your mothers, we are here. Amen. 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 Into Sanam Yakano, Sawaha, no name, so won't you be a obedient chill, Adrian and Noah, Amma will hoon yea. Oh, my men, um, waha, Yenina, I crowd, say a bet chill. Sure, it will come to a time, say, your mother will not cook for you, your sister, your housemates, now more of you know. I won't know the animal will be more when you need, so you have to do it. You have to do it for your in-law, your brother-in-law, your sister-in-law, the lost, the lost, everybody, and your husband also. Emrebi ba, who nya u mami no anwe di ania maubio, ana u nia, ana mawa u nia mu ofie. Ebedu emrebi, u na u ben anwe di ania ma u kunu, u nsonom, u nsonom, 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 ma tua tua suni na. Crown, crown. Merade. I know you are listening. Me jidi se utie. Muntie na monfa, munanti muna monye. Listen and walk in all these things that we are teaching you. Chese, I say, I adie bi abe we are say. Opie ya no akote bi ane. Our great great mothers and fathers they didn't teach us this thing. Now it has become a trend that people must eat from. Um, outside, our, our our grandmothers and mothers didn't teach us that. We were taught to do a banquet, prepare a banquet, and eat it three times. <laughs> and you eat a banquet with rice, banku, <laughs> and then <you're laughs> yeah, yeah, pain so no. Yeah, today I'm saying about a banquet. A banquet, we are sick. What? Who didn't in Ansani na nai? Who did be the banku? Now did be the mutio? Who did be the kokonte? Who did be the mo? No kasa many ages I'm no mo kasa sa mema. I'm very happy that I'm talking to you as my own children. And I know by the end of this program. God will work in you. Na mi jidi pa se. Program ibe ko ne wi ye na nya me wa ye o ho ejuma. We don't want anybody to sack from work. Ye mpese ye be ye be sack your BFA ejuma. 
attitude, attitude. And am I sacking, sacking from work? People are sacked from their job because of attitude. You have to be punctual. I was say who you be a who who the mre aye juma. Wake up very early in the morning. Sorry, Tim. With dress uh, very beautiful. Now fi se se who ye? Now fi kwe juma. Then go to your work. Who kwe juma ma? Who boss? Obe ma promotion ante. And if you do that, you will always be promoted. What dressing and so on? What you man now? We are now far now. We say now. We say now, sir. Why, yes, sir? Pa, who boss and now what you are too doing? When your bosses see your attitude towards work, you, 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 you'll be loved by them. But if you don't do that, then you have another name at the workplace. It's all about laziness. That is why people are not able to do these things. And laziness is the habit of being unproductive. Lazy people give excuses. Lazy people are unsatisfied. So they will always envy their, their, their brothers or sisters who are working hard to get something. Sometimes if when you are lazy, it affects your appearance. So when you are quadrifua, imposing ya wo mu se se impo ne se ya wo carry wo no. It me eh eh say no. A carry na wo betu na ye wani ha na wa fa she sa na na wo kono. For you to even iron your dress you feel so lazy to do it, so you just move out with uh, on iron dresses. It even affects your hygiene, your health. Sister, yeah, sorry, My sister, try and wake up early. And who say shake off? If you realize that. It is becoming a habit. Try and shake it off. What are your words when say? Say say, my sister, no I found pen, ni paper, no I draw draw. Me sorry, me find it say four o'clock. So now determine in your mind that you have changed. You challenge yourself. You and, do it and plan your life. Not discipline. We must say me yeah. Then you discipline yourself that you are going to do it. In every work that you are doing, if you practice these things, the Lord will bless you. This afternoon, I have said a lot. And I know that the Holy Spirit will bring it into remembrance. One thing that is worrying the youth now is that they, they don't know how to, to get close to mentors. If, for instance, you want to marry. Can't you get close to your mother so that they will coach you before you enter into the marriage. Or maybe you want to learn something. You can go to your mother's where you are at the local. Definitely you will get someone who is knowledgeable in that. Moses or mentor Joshua. Moses or Yobia or the Joshua seen any suited. Paul so Timothy. Paul so to teach Timothy. And I yan so and crawfo a mentor yen yet to say the We have also been mentored by people. Yeah, my minimum we are Christopher or my DH. Our mothers who were Christian, they mentored us. It's here per se. Mutti ma dream baha ne busia and I a woman mumma minimo papa no. So we want you to to bring your mind here and know that this is a family. That we are in. Say yes, sir. You be near some day. Then you may be shrying. Amen. If we behave this way, we will have our peace of mind, and the Lord will bless us. May Baba bomb pay our mouth. I want to pray for you.
And I want you to follow me keenly with faith. Right now, maybe there's something on your heart. There is a heart desire that you want God to do for you. Someone may be sick. Maybe the doctors have even declared something, but believe in God. Right now, you wish that you are married. It's so difficult for you to get a job. Sometimes you are even afraid of today and even the future. But let me tell you that we are serving a God. He is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. There is nothing too difficult for him. I don't know where you are coming from. Wherever you came from, anything that is on your heart, the Lord will do it for you. Let us be on our feet. We go yes so Wakanse <laughs> Na bibia ni wa erade wunti minye. Wonkro fo etu kwan tenten aba wanim. Na mra ye twen wanim yi. Erade ye won ebusade e ma won. Erade fa won saka won. Erade fa won saka won. Me bom pa ya sa wona modum so be ma wani ji ye wie peye. 
na ya de na ase amao ya da wasi bebre se wati ye empire bo amen